Hello and welcome. So glad to have each and every one of you here with us today. We are in Fort Worth, Texas with Miss Shelby McCamey from Frost, Texas, here at the historic Cowtown Coliseum. So glad to be here with the American, brought to us by RFD TV. Shelby, congratulations. You are here running tonight in the semifinals. What do you think about that? Um, it's definitely a dream come true, a bucket list goal of mine, and um, it's a little overwhelming and I'm definitely anxious to run tonight. Absolutely, absolutely. Frenchie's been doing good. Yes. I've got to see Frenchie for a long time with you running him. And he, I know he got hurt for a while, but he's back. What all did you do to get him recovered? A lot of praying. <laughs> a lot of praying. <laughs> um, Outlaw Equine, I couldn't have done it without okay. them. Absolutely, absolutely. They helped you out a lot. Yes, tremendously. Uh, Noah Grimes and Josh Harvey, uh, Nate Lee, Jackie, okay. they all helped tremendously. Very good. So you got him up and running. You got everything going. You went to a few jackpots. You went in here. And then you decided that you was going to load up and go to Las Vegas. How? What took you to Las Vegas? Uh, I was offered a job out there at the Plaza Hotel and Casino. Okay. And their uh, new rodeo arena. And so I, um, Frenchie had actually gotten hurt at Cheyenne. And so he was here. I went out for a weekend and I was offered the position and stayed out there for about a year and then decided uh, God had different plans for me. Very good. Very good. So you decided to go out and work a little bit. Yes. So you rodeoed out, you brought Frenchie, you went to work out there, you came back, you yes. picked him up, you went, back, took him back out with you and you rodeoed out in that part of the world. Yes. Where all did you go? Uh, Nevada, Arizona, Utah, Idaho, Washington, Oregon, Montana. Okay, so you made the circuit finals there. Yes. And how did the circuit finals treat you? Uh, better than I could have dreamed of. I, how do you mean? I was fourth in the first round, won the second round, fourth in the third round, second in the average. Frenchie had the fastest time of the entire finals. Very nice. And um, he won horse with the most heart. Horse with the most heart. Hey, and did that surprise you at all? No. <laughs> Because <laughs> I know that I see it on a daily basis, right. and I'm a little biased because I love him. But right. It was definitely. So it was good to see everybody else see it. Yes. That's awesome. Now, one of the things that always sticks out about you is yellow. Is the yellow hat, the yellow boots, the yellow wraps, polo wraps. Why yellow? Uh, because yellow is supposedly a bad luck color okay. in the rodeo arena, and so uh, you feel like it's bad luck, all odds are against you, things of that matter. Well, whenever you're depressed and suicidal, you feel the same way, okay. except just inside the rodeo arena, it's life in general. Okay. And yellow just so happens to be a color for depression and suicide awareness. Very nice. So you have a Yellow Felt Soul Facebook page. People can go to the Facebook page, they can log on to there, they can look, they can see. Now, I know in the future you have goals of wanting to have it everywhere. Are you going to be doing any motivational speaking? Is there a place that we can go? If we want to bring you in and book you to motivate, is there a place that we could do that at? Uh, my, my phone number is on the Facebook page, okay. and I believe it's on the Instagram page as well. So very either good. one, reach out to me, and that, that would be awesome. Okay, very good. I know you have a very heart-touching story on that, and I know that that is very close and dear to your heart, and we appreciate all of the work that you've done. Now, you told me a while ago that you're going to be having a yellow felt hat line coming yes, out who's going to be doing that for you western legacy company okay. they have teamed up with yellow felt soul and we're coming out with a yellow hat and i am just over the moon excited for it that is very very cool i know i've seen you at different rodeos around the country and i've always seen the yellow hat i always see you wearing the yellow boots so that's awesome that that is so close to your heart and soul and i'm glad to see that the other people are taking a hold of it absolutely that is really really good so now let's think of the future real quick I would absolutely love for a shirt line to come out okay. with yellow in every single shirt, okay. whether it's a solid yellow with a pattern or the color yellow inside the pattern, okay. whatever, that would be awesome. Okay. So if folks want to get a hold of you, they go to the Facebook page, they go to the Instagram, they contact you there, they can get with you, they can visit with you uh, and talk with you more. So let's talk about next weekend. Let's talk about you coming in here, being in the top 10, making that trip to AT&T Stadium, and being at the American. <laughs> what do you think of when you think of that? 
I just think that it wouldn't be possible without God and the team behind me. Very good. That has truly believed in me from the start. Uh -huh. And they told me that I'd never swing a leg over Frenchie again. So any time that I get to send him down the alley is just icing on the cake. Yeah. And so for him to be able to compete at that level, it would just mean the absolute world to me. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, when you get into that stadium, you've been there. You've seen the bright lights. You've taken yes. the pictures. You've been there. You've helped out through the last three or four years. To make that run, to stand on that stage and hold that million dollar check, what would that feel like? I think that would be indescribable. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, if I do, funny story, um, that will be the very first saddle I've ever won. Really? Well, I'm telling you, I've seen him run. I've seen what you can do with him. We've all seen you right here at this building. Go and do what you do. Go and be who you are. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Shelby McCamey from Frost, Texas. She is looking to be at the American and AT&T Stadium. Good luck tonight.